Hola amores, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another VBX Familia Speaks video and today we will be covering the story of Charlemagne Peralte. Charlemagne Peralte, born in 1886, was a Haitian nationalist leader who opposed the United States occupation of Haiti in 1915. Leading guerrilla fighters called the Cacos, he posed such a challenge to the U.S. forces in Haiti that the occupying forces had to upgrade their presence in the country. Peralte remains a highly praised hero in Haiti. Born in 1886 in the city of Inche, Peralte was born into a family that had migrated from an area that is the present-day Dominican Republic. Now, Inche used to be called Incha and was one of several provinces that was seceded over to Haiti by Trujillo in 1929. So when Peralte was born, it was technically still a part of DR. So as you guys can see here, this is what the borders looked like before the treaty and this is what it looked like after. Earning his education at the prestigious St. Louis Gonzaga in Port-au-Prince, Peralte followed in his paternal family's footsteps and became politically active by holding posts in both the Dominican Republic and Haiti. When the United States occupation commenced in 1915, he was serving as the leader of Lil Gain. At first, Peralte used tactful and non-aggressive means to oppose the occupation, as was evident in his communications to the United States Marines and later President Woodrow Wilson, whom he instructed to leave Haiti with God. However, when the U.S. Marines occupied Haiti, Peralte was forced to leave office. In October 1917, he was implicated in a robbery of the U.S. commander in Inche. After serving time in prison on charges drawn up by the United States Marines, Peralte was aided by an undercover caco and helped Peralte escape on September 3, 1918. Peralte's home was burnt to the ground and his brother was executed. At this point, he announced his intentions to drive the invaders into the sea and free Haiti. Self-appointing himself as the leader, he formed a provisional government in northern Haiti with several thousand peasants as irregulars in his army who were called bandits and highwaymen. Peralte attacked the United States military establishments including Port-au-Prince on October 7, 1919, and because of his actions, an upgrade of force was made by the American military with the order to stop him. He was betrayed by one of his own men, Lieutenant Baptiste Conce, who led the United States Marines to his camp for a $2,000 reward. In the middle of the night, on October 31, 1919, with their face blackened, the United States military raided his camp. He was shot twice in the back in a successful raid, while another 1,200 of his followers were machine gunned to death in this surprise attack. A photograph of his remains draped in his nation's flag was circulated throughout the country to degrade him. He was 33 years old. Following the end of the American occupation in 1934, President Stenio Vincent and other Haitian dignitaries officiated a state funeral for General Charlemagne Peralte on November 26 of that year. In 1988, a Haitian commemorative stamp with his image was issued. A Haitian 50-cent coin was also issued in 1991 with his image on it. A larger-than-life size bust is on display in his hometown of Inche, and throughout the years, celebrations have been held in his honor. That was it for this video, everyone. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!